In this video, I'll show you how to loop samples in Fell Studio. First, start by loading your sample into the timeline. To zoom in for more precision, hold the control key and use the mouse scroll wheel to zoom in horizontally. To zoom in vertically, hold the Alt key and use the scroll wheel. Next, locate the exact point where the waveform begins. Be precise. There should be no extra space before the start of the sound and no part of the sound cut off. Once you've identified the starting point, go to the top menu bar and select the splice tool. Use it to create a vertical line at the exact starting point to make a cut. Now, find the point where the loop should end. Carefully observe the waveform to identify where the sound starts to repeat. Look for clues like changes in the waveform, such as a sudden increase in volume or intensity. Once you've found this spot, make another cut with the splice tool. After making these cuts, switch to the brush tool. Right-click to delete any extra sections outside the start and end points of your loop. At this stage, your loop should be isolated. Now it's time to stretch the loop to fit the timeline. This is a crucial step because skipping it can lead to timing issues like kicks or other elements not aligning properly. To stretch the loop, hover your mouse over the small purple bar at the end of the sample. Click and drag to stretch it. For this example, I'll stretch my loop to bar 5 to match my project. Finally, play back the loop to ensure it sounds smooth and loops perfectly. As you can hear, the loop is now seamless and ready to use in your track. And that's how you create and loop samples in FL Studio.